army and he said to the entire northern leewards, remember the Sabbath day. To do what? To keep it. So let's give it up for God's nature. Eat Tommy had to obey our mighty God. He says, remember the seven? And everybody did. They were all locked in their houses. And we'll begin with number five, four, five, and thirty-four. Will your anchor hold? Pastor made them, eh? So the talent is truly his. So look at this pretty cake, Pastor White. Come, 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 come help me. Can you see Nike? You go and take home one because the members didn't do what they're supposed to do. Let's look at this. Tell me how. Describe it to the members. They probably can't see. It looks amazing. Yes, I suspect it's it. delicious too. I would definitely enjoy this. There's no doubt. Yeah, we can give it to somebody tonight in the audience who met the criteria. Yes. Should get the cake. Somebody has some good news for us tonight. Amen? Somebody has some good news tonight. Can you just reinforce the criteria? Well, well, it's not Sunday night, but we will start off with a request for JJ Rodriguez. So, cut it off. No, y'all didn't work. Y'all didn't even bring one visitor. If you brought a visitor, then I could say, you know what? Let me give you one of these. So Pastor and I go have a party tonight. What y'all think? Temperance in all things? Okay. In all fairness, on Friday night, Sister Geraldine, Sister Ephraim, she had 15 guests on Friday night. So we're going to give her the cake. Come, let's, let's give her a round of applause. She would have gotten two cakes tonight if she had a visitors tonight. Tomorrow night, don't count, you know. Tomorrow night. So on behalf of Pastor Knight, for your hard work in bringing... How many persons you brought? Fifteen. Now give her a round of applause. I should give her the two cakes, you know. Fifteen is a lot. Three times the amount I asked for. We will take her as, as, as one of the guests, but 16. All right, so on behalf of Pastor and I, we just want to give you this heart shape cheesecake to tell you how much we love and appreciate your hard work and for living up to the bargain. We recognize that we were stormed out, but tonight should have been a night we brought out everybody. So, we could give God the praise for saving us from Hurricane Tammy. So, let's give Sister Geraldine a round of applause again. I have one more cheesecake here, you know. One more. Any visitor never missed the night? All right, so let's, let, let's welcome the visitor who. She's here by what time? Oh, come give her a round of applause, come. We have a visitor.
singer who have never ever missed a night. So we're gonna call her up front. Come, 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 visitor. Don't let me take home the cheesecake that I made. I wish to give it to you because you're sacrificing to be here every night. And do you come alone? No, come this way, man. Everybody see you come. Come in front here. So on behalf of Pastor and I, we just want to give you a small token of love for coming out every night. God bless. Yeah, thank you. All right. I kept my promise. I lived up to my end of the bargain. You didn't. So, I have some treats still left here. And I don't know how I'm going to give them out yet. But we'll see at the end of the service how my heart feels. Because I'm really past and I overweight. We can't eat any more cheesecake. <laughs> but, to promotion. Now, tomorrow night... Now, this is coming especially from the evangelists. She is not influenced by any political party. In fact, she don't even know who they are. But she has a special request that tomorrow night, everybody wearing red. Somebody tell me trouble, but wait. She's balanced, you know. Because it's not only red we're wearing. So, tomorrow night is red night, but Wednesday night is blue night. So, give it up for the evangelist. She's fear. Let's give it up for her. No, she is not a weir. I said to her, Sister Evangelist, you have a very election tomorrow. <laughs> I did say to her, but she says, hey, she's coming on the authority of God, and she's preaching about the blood. And what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the... So tomorrow night, we're not labor party people. We are kingdom people. And we're wearing... On, on Wednesday night... <laughs> now, here for Wednesday night. Wednesday night is extra special because it's prayer night. But Wednesday night, we're giving a gift for the best dress couple in blue. Yes, come, give it up for man, the best couple. And tomorrow night, the best couple in red, to, to be fear, you know? So the best couple in red tomorrow night, and the best couple in blue, Wednesday night. Bring, a, bring somebody a cup. You want me to organize a date for you, Sister Charmaine? So, let me just run through the topics for tonight. Tomorrow night. Just give me a second. Let me just pull up my notice. One second here for me. But we have to do a greeting song while I get. Musicians, you remember the tune we learned Thursday night? Wednesday night? Try it. I want everybody standing because it's our greeting song. While I get the, the topics for tonight, let's go. Everybody standing, we're going to greet. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 aha, Hallelujah! Everybody singing hallelujah! Halle, 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 hallelujah! Halle, 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 hallelujah! Halle, 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 hallelujah! Halle, 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 ah, ah, hallelujah! Wave, wave those mighty hands for my Jesus. Wave those hands and sing along. Wave those mighty hands for my Jesus. Wave those hands and sing, 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 sing along. Halle, halle, halle. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hal
Our topic is the forecast. What's the topic for tonight? I can't hear you. Y'all want cheesecake? Let me see the person who can say it loudest gets a cheesecake. Y'all work for food here? <laughs> no. Tomorrow night, where we're dressed in red, the topic is the scales of justice. What is it? Come on, y'all, gotta make some noise for the cheesecake. What's it for tomorrow night? The scales of? The scales of? And what color are we wearing tomorrow night? I don't hear any. What color are we wearing tomorrow night? Uh huh, my prayers team working for cheesecake. And Wednesday night, how to live your best life. How to do what? All right, y'all deserve the cheesecake. I have 12 of them. The first 12 persons I see after church will get one. So until I see you tomorrow night, God bless. Right. Good night, everyone. When the best of me is barely breathing, when I'm not somebody. I believe in, hold on to me, when I miss the light, the night is stolen, when I'm slamming all the doors you've opened, hold on to me.
we win. And we heard that the storm was passing east of us. I don't know about you, but my brothers and sisters, God worked a miracle on the Sabbath. We were spirit. And it is But God has truly been good to us, far better than we deserve, far better than we can ever comprehend or could describe is our God towards us. And this evening, we want to offer up thanks to him for what he did for us. And I want to let you know that he's not done yet. God is not done yet. Because all of the struggles that we're going through in this life is nothing compared to what God has planned for us. So I want to let you know this evening, if you may be going through struggles, whether you're here or you're in virtual land, that God is not done yet. This evening, we want to offer a prayers to God tonight. Won't you stand with me? Those of you listening online, just take a posture of prayer as we present our praise and our thanks to God for that great miracle that he has done. And I want to let you know that God is still in the miracle working business because there may be someone listening online or someone here this evening who are contemplating the fact that you know, I can't change because I've been going down this way too long. I want to let you know tonight that God can bring change. He can bring transformation in your life. There is nothing too hard for God to do. And this evening, we are grateful for all that he has done and what he's about to do. Bow your heads with me as we pray. Father... Oh, Father, we are thankful to you this evening because you've been such a good God to us. We don't deserve the blessings that you constantly shower upon us on a daily basis. But yet you do it. And Lord, this evening, we just want to come to say that we are grateful to you. Father, we want to thank you and praise you for the fact that we're here tonight and we don't have to worry about going back to homes without any roofs we don't have to worry about going back to wet beds because you kept us and you protected us the Lord you have other individuals within this Caribbean who are going through those same situations that I just described but I want, you to let, I want you to let them know in their hearts this evening that you are still there for them. This evening, oh God, your daughter is poised with another message to be delivered here this evening. And Lord, we, we have hearts that are waiting and lives that are waiting for the transformation that your word will bring. So oh God, I pray this evening as your word goes out, whether it may be in virtual land, whether it is somebody in the community listening to these words this evening, or somebody right here. Oh God, I pray that your word this evening may bring liberation, may bring transformation to that heart and that life and that individual. Oh God, so that at the end of this evening, that they would have embraced Jesus, knowing that he is well able to take care of all their problems, all their situations. And Lord, that they may seek never to let go of the hand of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that your Holy Spirit may bear this place. So the angels that excel in strength to surround this property, oh God. Magnify the word that as it goes out this evening, oh God. That it may accomplish all that it has set out to accomplish. So, Father, this evening, anoint your daughter afresh. 
Anoint the prayer warriors afresh, O oh God, and may your spirit bring unity in this place so that as we immerse from this place this evening, that your Holy Spirit may be seen and heard in our conversation, but we may demonstrate change and transformation. Uh, it's my prayer this evening with thanksgiving. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen and amen. Thank brother challenge you very very much indeed I shall speak up your position you know a crusade like this a meeting like this in the 60s with a graduate it's cost 20 dollars and the get back change and now it's very very expensive so you deep deep tonight yes. you have a Friday night Saturday morning and last night Monday so you dig deep tonight Thank you very much. Let us pray. I shall take a position, please. Let us pray. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. Thank you just to be alive. The most of all this evening. We thank you for this offering. We thank you give, and we thank you never give. It's just to spread the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Test one, one, one. Amen. My God is awesome. Remain standing with me, everybody, as you raise your Bibles in hand and we say it together. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Remain standing as I pray, Father. You are so awesome. Words cannot express our gratitude. You are so awesome. You are good. You are loving. You are merciful. You are compassionate. Father, my tongue cannot express my gratitude towards you for sparing these two islands, Antigua and Barbuda. Father, we are grateful. I'm thankful for everyone who made it out here this evening. And, oh, Lord, may a special word from you touch each heart is my prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Good evening, everybody. That's not everybody. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm happy to see all of you here this evening. To be honest, I feel really far from you. <laughs> I feel really, really far from you. So I think I'll come down. Yes? I'll come a little closer to you. I would need some mics to be removed here. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Pastor. So thank you very much, Pastor Brathwaite. Thank you, Sister Pastor K. White, for coming this evening and gracing us with your presence. Pastor Challenger, I know that you are around. Yes. I feel a little closer now. Amen, amen. amen. So, who want to praise God for life with me? Praise yes, that is the kind of praise God wants. Praise that comes from the depth of your soul because the dead cannot say praise God. Who wants to praise God for life this evening? Do I have some worshipers here this evening? Do I have some praisers here this evening? Yes, 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 yes. Praise God for life. The story could have been different. But we praise God this evening for life. You know, we had to move from under the tent to inside the church. But that's how it is sometimes. We're still working and tweaking the PA system, but that's how it is sometimes. Our God is still awesome. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now we have some esteemed guests. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I want to encourage you to bring your friends tomorrow evening. Let them know that we had a little interruption, but it wasn't an end. All right? So we still continue. So bring them out tomorrow evening so that they can hear the word and they can be blessed. All right? So I want to welcome all of you here this evening. Remember that we continue our prayer 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. Pray for this series. Pray for yours truly. Pray for yourself. Pray for Antigua and Barbuda. Amen. We shall forego those colors. All right? The, those red and those blues that didn't seem to sit too well on your stomach, we'll forego those. Now, when I thought of the colors, I thought nothing about politics. All right? But um, I realized that those colors are politically affiliated. So we shall leave those colors out. But tomorrow evening, I want you to bring the oldest Bible. If you think you have the oldest Bible at home, I want you to bring it tomorrow evening, all right? The oldest Bible, right? From since 1956, right? Or 1933, even before you was born, right? Your great uncle, great uncle, great, great uncle had it. Bring it tomorrow evening, all right? And then on Wednesday evening, we will wear white. Is that all right? We shall wear white. Right. Very good. My, my teacher in school used to say white. Not just white. White. That's correct, that's just the white. <laughs> that's how it is pronounced. White. All right. So we shall be wearing white on Wednesday evening. Now, Thursday evening will be grand. 
All right? But I won't tell you, I won't let the cat out of the bag just yet. You've got to come tomorrow evening to hear what's happening on Thursday evening. All right? So, let's get into the message for this evening. What is it? The forecast. The forecast. The forecast. Heavenly Father, you've been with me in preparation. Now be with me in proclamation. Is my prayer in Jesus' name. Loop News reported on October 3rd, 2023 that Antigua and Barbuda woke up that morning to sadness. A fire had affected the Yacht Club Marina in English Harbor and several businesses following heavy rains, lightning, and widespread flooding from Tropical Storm Philippi. Am I speaking the truth? Prime Minister Gaston Brown said giving thanks to God that no one got seriously hurt. We have been spared the worst. As a resilient people, he said, we sold your own. Antigua and Barbuda hardly had time to clear debris from tropical storm Philippe earlier this month so that when the threat of Hurricane Tammy on October 20th hit Antigua and Barbuda, no one took the meteorologist lightly. Right? Everyone got prepared. Emergency kit, non perishable food, water, flashlights, first aid items you name it, they had it. Yes, gas, matches, candles, batteries, radio. <laughs> Events were put on hold. Schools were shut down. Businesses closed early. Insurance companies refused to insure vehicles. People were nailing up this and securing that. Permit me to pause. Where's my reader? All right. Great, great, great. It was a mad frenzy last week, Thursday evening. No parking spaces in front of the groceries. I remember we went to one gas station with a friend, and there was no electricity. And they had no cooking gas. So we had to go somewhere else. When we got home Thursday evening, we had no electricity at home. I was like, oh boy, like it stopped already. <laughs> boy, I say, Father, not tonight. Today. <laughs> I start to pray some prayers one time, Pastor White. <laughs> Prayers my mother taught me since I was five. I start to pray. Thank God within an hour it was restored. According to Fox Weather, as of early Monday, which is today, Hurricane Tammy was centered about 230 miles northwest of Anguilla. Maximum sustained winds are estimated at 80 miles per hour. Now, the meteorologist, as I listened to the news, admitted to have struggled with Tammy. Because Tammy kept shifting and moving. Tammy was unpredictable. Tammy was a female. If I could be honest. One time, Tammy was moving quickly. Then another time, Tammy slowed down. One time, Tammy was heading straight to Antigua. Mm -hmm. Next time, Tammy changed direction and she's going to Barbuda. Mm -hmm. Tell us more, preacher. Tell us more. They gave you a time when Tammy will come. They had to keep pushing back the time later and later because Tammy wasn't dressed yet. Mm -mm. Going they to could not keep up the movements of Tammy. Mm -hmm. All they could do was warn persons to be ready. All these preparations were made to safeguard property, animals, but more so human life. Because amen. life is what is important. Amen, amen. But I want to tell you about another kind of storm. Go with me in your Bibles to the book of Matthew. What book did I say? Matthew. 
Matthew. And the chapter is 14, and we are looking from verse 22. What does the word of God say, reader? And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship. Yes. And to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when he, the evening was come, he was there alone. Uh -huh. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. Let's pause there for a moment. Mm. Matthew 14 happens to be one of my favorite passages of scripture. Mm -hmm. It is evident from the title of my devotional book, Walking on Water. Mm -hmm. You see, my friends, the meteorologists gave no forecast or warning that evening. Mm -hmm. The disciples had no time to prepare, my sister. In fact, the storm met them at sea. Mm -hmm. I've come by here for such a time as this to tell somebody that there are some storms that are coming, both literally and figuratively, that will come without warning. That's true, that's true. And if you are not ready, in local parlance, they say, crap or smoke your pipe. In other words, if you are not ready, all is lost. That's why we always ought to be ready. When the command was given by Jesus to the disciples to go over onto the other side, it was fair weather. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Fair weather. Everything seemed normal, as the young people like to say. What is important, my friends, is that they obeyed Jesus. Amen. Can I tell you something this evening? Sometimes, even when we obey God's commands, things will not always go smoothly. True, 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 my sister. God created a perfect world. Mm -hmm. Lucifer, a perfect being managed to cause a rebellion in a perfect heaven. Have mercy. Could I tell you that after he drew one third of the angels, he came on earth and managed to pull Adam and Eve away from God in a rebellion here on earth? Mm -hmm. Things will not always go smoothly, even when you follow God's command. That's so true, so true. This series is evident that sometimes when we plan things, it may not always go as we plan it. Hey. But can I tell you that all things, did I say all things? All things. Did I say all things? All things. Did I say all things? Yes, you did. All things work oh. together for good to those who love the Lord Amen. and to those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. 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 You see, when you follow God's command, the devil is unhappy. Mm -hmm. And he will do anything, and I mean anything, to derail you from purpose. But do not allow him to derail you from purpose. purpose. We must always be ready. Because can I tell you, the reality is, is that we are either in a storm, coming out of a storm, mm -hmm. or going into a storm. Yes. Some of you may have faced some personal storms in your life. You may even be facing some personal storms right now. Can I touch some of them? Some of you may be facing some marital problems. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be facing some family issues, some financial issues. You might have used your last dollar to buy things for Hurricane Tammy. Mm -hmm. And now your bank account is empty. Empty. That person on work who is giving you trouble. Who is like a boil in a sore foot. 
Have mercy. That sickness that threatens your body. That sickness that has taken over a loved one, making you into a caregiver overnight. Yes, my friend, storm comes. Storm comes. It is what you do with the storm that makes the difference. Amen. Amen. You may be feeling frustrated right now, but can I tell you that you've come to the right place this evening? Mm -hmm. You can be delivered in the midst of your storm. Amen. You might be in a storm, but do not allow the storm to get in you. Can I say that again? Yes, my sister. You that might again. be in the storm, mm -hmm. but do not allow the storm to get in you. Mm -hmm. You see, great peace. Can I talk to somebody? Yes, my sister. Great peace have they who which love the law, and nothing shall offend them. Amen. What does verse 25 of Matthew 14 say, reader? And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. <laughs> and when the disciples... Stop right there for mm -hmm. me. The same one, don't miss it. The same one who in the beginning mm -hmm. created the water, mm -hmm. came walking on the water. Amen. You see, he is the only one entitled to cause the water to solidify with every step. Yes. He is the only one who can defy gravity. Yes. Can I tell you that that problem you are facing, he can defy gravity? Amen. Now, can I tell you that that problem you are facing, he can bring it to naught? Yes. By him were all things made. Mm -hmm. And without him was nothing made that was made. Colossians 1 16 asks, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities and powers. All things were created by him and for him. So could I tell you, whatever negative experiences or storms you may be going through, know that God, that God can bring it to naught just as he brought Tammy to naught. Yes. Amen. Nothing is too hard for my God. With men, this may be impossible. But with my God, all things, did I say all things? All things. All things are possible. possible. Matthew, as we continue, verses 26 and 27. What does the word of God say, reader? And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Many of afraid. us, many of us, many of us, too like the disciples. And we begin to magnify the problem. As soon as we see the problem, all the doctor told you that your blood pressure high. Mm -hmm. That's all. You see death. Mm -hmm. How? And instead of about, instead about you thinking to change your lifestyle and eat more fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. you decide to go and change your last will and testament or make a new one. Mm. Instead of magnifying the God who created our bodies and say, God, you created body you can heal this body we begin to magnify the problem giving the devil more credit than he deserves mm, have mercy tell him take your hands off this body because this body is the temple of god amen 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 god allowed job to go through a series of problems Many of us would have given up if we were in Job's position. Mm -hmm. That's true. Lost all your livestock. Mm -hmm. Everything you own, all your possessions, if it were now, all your vehicles, your houses, everything, gone. Mm -hmm. All your children, gone. Many of us would have thrown our hands in the air and said, God, that is it. I don't want to hear about you anymore. Mm. 
But Job said, Naked came I into this world, mm -hmm. and naked shall I leave. Mm -hmm. And in all things, the Bible says, Job did not curse God, Amen. nor did he charge him foolishly. Amen. Could I tell you that sometimes storms are sent to redirect us? Mm -hmm. Jonah was sent to Tashish. Mm -hmm. He did no, he was sent to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. He decided to go to Tashish. What did God do? God sent a storm to redirect him to purpose. Sometimes we are going down some kind of directions that unless our backs are against a wall, we do not change. We mm -hmm. do not move. Mm -hmm. We stay in the same place because we are comfortable have mercy so sometimes sometimes God allows storms to purify us sometimes he allows storms to redirect us mm -hmm. and sometimes he allows storms to build our faith amen. and sometimes he allows storms to save us amen I read somewhere mm -hmm. not all storms come to disrupt your life Mm -hmm. Some come to clear your park. Mm -mm. You, you need to say that again. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. Clear the path. But either way, my friends, I've come by here to assure you, in the words of Isaiah 43 2, when thou pass through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame even kindle upon you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When the three Hebrew boys stood up for Jesus, and they threw them into the burning fiery furnace, the king had to stop and say, did we not throw three? Inside. But yet I see a fourth. Mm -hmm. And the fourth is like the Son of God. Amen. And the Bible records that when they came out, not even their clothes were singed, not even a smell of smoke. Mm, what a God we serve. Could I tell you that when you go through a storm, everybody doesn't have to know? True. Got your preaching. In other words, you don't have to go and tell everybody, well, you know, so and so, and so and so, and so and so. No, some storms are just for your personal development. Amen. Preach on, sister. Have come by here to tell somebody that while you are going through your storm, mm -hmm. God is right there. With you. with you. Amen. Amen. So hold on to Jesus as the song says and ride out your storm. Yeah. You cannot see him but you can trust him. Mm -hmm. Hold on to Jesus Amen. and ride out yes. your storm. Amen. You see my friends what we experience as sudden emergencies is never an emergency to God. True. Because he is omnipresent. That's he right. is omniscient. Mm -hmm. He is omnipotent. He knows all things from the beginning to the end. So he's already in the storm before you. Yeah. He's already paving the way. He's already redirecting things just to save you. Yeah. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says they had no temptation taken mm. you. Yes, but God. such as is common to man. Mm. But God is what? Able. God is faithful. Mm. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. But will with every temptation provide a way of escape. escape. That, that you might be able, able to, bear to bear it. it. Amen. Amen. Jesus says to you this evening, be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. 
Read on with me from verse 28 to 33. What does the word of God say, reader? And Peter answered him and said, mm -hmm. Lord, yes. if it be thou, mm -hmm. bid me come unto thee on the water. Yes. And he said, come. come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But he, when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Amen. Verse 33. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Friends, the winds were always contrary. <laughs> they were always boisterous. The ship was already tossing to and fro. Peter was a great fisherman. He knew how to swim. Mm -hmm. Why did Peter sink in the water he was called to walk on? He doubted. Mm -hmm. Fear replaced faith. Mm -hmm. And he took his eyes off Jesus. So sad. Some of you within the hearing of my voice are depending on your own knowledge and your own experience to face the coming storms. But can I tell you that that will fail you? Mm -hmm. So true. Some of you are depending on connections, who you know and who know you in the government. Mm -hmm. But can I tell you that that will fail you? Have mercy. Mm -hmm. Some of you are depending on money. But could I tell you that that will fail you? The only thing, the only person that can help you is Jesus. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. When earthly friends fail me, I am sure I have a friend in Jesus. Amen. That's why Hebrews 11, 6 says, but without faith it is impossible Possible to, to please, please God. God. Because he that cometh to him must believe that he is and that he reward is the reward of them that diligently, diligently seek, seek him. him. I want to challenge you this evening to stop doubting the power of God. Fuel your faith and starve your fear to death. Fuel your faith. And starve your fear to death. Amen. Notice when Jesus stepped into the boat, mm -hmm. the Bible records that the wind ceased. ceased. If you want the wind to cease, invite Jesus into Amen. your boat. Amen. There will be storms. But it's only when you have the great storm tamer with you mm -hmm. that you are secure. Yeah. God is in control. Friends, you may have been going through the storms of life on your own. But could I ask you this evening to invite Jesus into your boat. Amen. Invite him into your life. Yes. That even when the winds are contrary around you, great peace. Mm -hmm. Have day. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Friends, I told you last week that we are not left in the dark on the biblical forecast. Mm -hmm. You can go back and listen to the message TikTok if you missed it. We are living in the last days of earth's history. It is forecasted by God himself in the Bible. The most reliable source of information, the best source of world news is found in the Bible. Just before Jesus' second coming, the Bible has forecasted that there will be an increase in natural disasters. Correct. So the reality is we will not always be spared 
So true, so true, so true, so true. But we can thank God who has spared this one. Yes. But if Jesus has to come, prophecy has to be fulfilled. And that means that we will face some hurricanes. Yes. Some storms. Yes. Some tornadoes. Mm -hmm. Some tsunamis. Mm -hmm. Some famines. Mm -hmm. Some pestilences. We will have to face it. Yes. Matthew 24, 4 to 9. What does the word of God say? Matthew 24, 4 to 9. Sure. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, yes. I am Christ, uh -huh. and shall deceive many. Yes. And he shall hear of wars and rumor of his wars. See that he be not troubled. See that For he all be these not things troubled. must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Yes. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Yes. They are just the beginning of sorrows. Mm -hmm. And if this is just the beginning of sorrows... Mm -hmm. We can only do one thing. Prepare. Yeah. Verse 9 says, You think that was all? Then, then shall, shall they, they deliver, deliver you up, up to, to be, be afflicted, afflicted and shall kill you. And he shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. In other words, in other words, before Jesus comes, some of us, sadly, will be called to answer for our faith even with our lives. And we'd have to say like Esther, if I perish, I perish. We would have to say like the three Hebrew boys, the God whom I serve is able to deliver, but even if he chooses not to deliver, I will not bow. In other words, friends, we got to stop fearing death. Because death for the Christian is what just a comma. It's just a comma in the sentence for a Christian. Because one day the Bible tells me that the dead in Christ shall, shall rise first. first. Amen. For then, verses 21 and 22 tells us, for then shall be great tribulation, mm -hmm. such as was not since the, the beginning of the world to this time, no, never, or ever shall be. Verse 22, and accept. And accept those uh -huh. days should be shortened. Wow. And accept those days should be shortened. Uh -huh. There shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. I say with Pastor White, what a God, what a God. Amen. For the elect's sake, mm -hmm. he will shorten those days. Because in his mercy, he has already seen that if he does not shorten those days, not even one soul will be saved. All that you have experienced would fade in comparison. And unless you are prepared spiritually, unless Jesus is in your boat, Sadly, you will be lost. Mm -hmm. I read from you from Ellen G. White, the book Maranatha, page 275. It says, transgression has almost reached its limit. Confusion fills the world. And a great terror is soon to come upon human beings. The end is very near. God's people should be preparing for what is to break upon the world as an overwhelming surprise. In other words, it will not break upon God's people as a surprise because we have been reading the forecast. Amen. Amen. She continues. The time of trouble, such as never was, is soon to open upon us. 
and we shall need an experience mm -hmm. which we do not now possess and which many of us are too indolent or lazy to obtain. Mm -hmm. It is often the case that trouble is greater in anticipation than in reality. But this is not true of the crisis that is before us. The most vivid presentation cannot reach the magnitude of the ordeal. And now, friends, while the precious Savior is making an atonement for us, we should seek to become perfect in Christ. Amen. End quote. Amen. Friends, we can draw some lessons from the experience of the storm as we face the final crisis that is forecasted. One, I told you before that the disciples had no time to prepare. It was either they were ready or not. Or they were not. Ready or not, Jesus will come. Yeah. Matthew 24, 30, 31, and 44 says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Reader, continue. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great, and great glory. glory. Hallelujah. And he shall send his angels with great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Yes. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender. Let's stop there. Therefore, verse 44 says, mm -hmm. Be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the, the Son, Son of Man, man cometh. In other words, the preparation that is required for the time of trouble must begin when? Now. Now. You cannot wait until trouble comes to prepare. No. Just like you prepare in advance when a hurricane is coming. Mm -hmm. You got to prepare in advance for this crisis. Yeah, man. But I saw too many Antiguans. You are living in a country where you get frequent hurricanes around this time of the year. Mm -hmm. So I should have not been seeing people scurrying around to get things on Thursday evening. As you were. You should have been prepared. Ouch. When we are not prepared, my friends, we end up in the storm without batteries. Ouch. Without candle if current gone. Ouch. Without radio. Ouch. When you are not prepared, my friends, when the final crisis comes, you will be lost. That's the sad reality. Have mercy. But this meeting, this series is here for such a time as this to ensure that you are well prepared for the crisis before us. Amen. After this series, nobody here must, must walk out of here saying, I am not ready. Everybody must be able to say with certainty, I am ready for the coming of the Lord. Amen, sister. Secondly, just when the disciples thought all was lost, Jesus came to them walking on water. Mm -hmm. But don't miss this point. The disciples at first thought that Jesus was a ghost, ghost. a spirit. Can I tell you that the devil always tries to thwart the beauty of God? Mm -hmm. And deception will increase in the last days? So when you are supposed to be seeing God, you'll be seeing spirit. Mercy. That's the deception of the enemy. When you should be seeing God walking towards you, you are seeing a spirit. And instead of your faith being built, your fear is increased. That's where the devil wants to have you. Locked in fear. But don't miss this next point. Daniel 12, 1 tells us, And at that time, Michael shall stand, stand up. up. The great prince withstanded for the children of his people. 
and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be, be delivered. delivered everyone that shall, that shall be found written in, in the, the book, book. Hallelujah. and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life some to shame and everlasting content verse 1 does not only tell us that a time of trouble is coming mm -hmm. such as never was but it also tells us how to be ready and how to be delivered it says your name should be written in the book how do you get your name written in the book I'll get to that in a while Verse 2 tells that if you do not live your life, if you do not live your dash for Christ, then shame and everlasting contempt will be your portion. Mm -hmm. But if you live your life, if you live your dash for God, then everlasting life will be yours. Amen. Thirdly, Peter began to sink in the very water he was called to walk on. I told you because of his fear, of his doubt, of his lack of faith. Because he turned his eyes away from Jesus. Friends, the peril that will befall this earth, no man, no woman, no child can withstand it except they keep their eyes fixed on Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Lastly, Peter, when he found himself sinking, cried out, Lord, save me. Save me. And immediately the Bible says, Jesus stretched forth his hands and save. caught him. Yeah. And this evening, see Jesus' hands outstretched to save you. Would you just put your hand in his hands this evening? Would you secure your name in the Lamb's book of life? How do you get your name there? Acts 16, 31 tells us, believe mm -hmm. on the Lord Jesus Christ and, thou shall be saved. and you shall be saved. Then go a step further. Mark 16, 16 says, he that, he believeth, that believeth and, and is, is baptized shall, shall be, saved. be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Then add to your belief and your baptism, add to that endurance. Because Matthew 24, tell, 24, 13 tells us, but he that shall endure, endure to, the to the end, shall the same shall be saved. In other words, when you get baptized, it is not one saved, always saved. Mm. You've got to endure to the end. Amen. Endure through those storms. In, endure through those hurricanes. Endure through the pain and the turmoil. Endure through the scuffers. Endure. To the deceptions, endure to the end. Believe, baptize, endure to the end, and you shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Peter had the presence of mind to cry out, Lord, save, save me. Is there anybody here this evening who wants to cry out with Peter? Lord, Save me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I see hands everywhere. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. And this is one prayer, I'm sure. As the Bible says, God answers immediately. Amen. Friends, this evening, I want to ask you, if you are already in a saving relationship with Jesus, why not stand with me? You believe and you are baptized already? Why not stand with me? And if perchance we have anyone here who is not yet baptized, and you want to cry out, Lord, save me. This is your opportunity. God has saved you through Philip, Philippe. He has saved you through Tammy. He has saved you through some diagnosis from the doctor. He has saved you through so many things. Amen. 
All he asks of you is that you give him your heart. Amen. You are around 10 years, 10 years old. You are, your parents are probably members of this church. You are even older. You're a teenager. You're not yet baptized. You're a visitor. You're not yet baptized. Or you have already put down your name for baptism as the song is being sung by our music minister, I invite you to come forward for prayer. Come just as you just as you are. Hear the Spirit you do not have to know everything. God will do the rest. Come believe. All you got to do is believe that he loves you. He died for you. And he's coming again for you. Come and see. Follow that up with baptism. And you shall be saved. There's just someone here this evening who wants to join me at this altar. may have given down your name for baptism already then come join us at the altar come just as you are you're a visitor you have not put, a, put down your name as yet for baptism but you want to say this evening Lord I come to you you want a taste of the living water this evening why not come to this altar join me at this altar this evening who will cry out Lord if it's one you're gonna save this evening save me or perhaps you've already been baptized you already believe but you want to ask God this evening to help me endure to the end. Come forward as we pray. That despite the storms that may come against us, that we shall endure to the end. I want to invite Pastor White to say this prayer for us. so that we can all meet on that shore together. Pastor White, would you pray for us? Let's bow heads as we pray more individuals are coming for the prayer tonight. Our God is a wonderful God, amen. Oh, yes. amen. amen. We yes. thank him for his word tonight. Hallelujah. And we know even tonight the individuals who are in the valley of decision we want to pray that prayer for them tonight. Yes. Individuals have already made up their mind to go all the way with Jesus in baptism. Yes. But tonight we know that God is going to give them the breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Let us bow our heads as we pray. Father, tonight we thank you 
for the fact you are loving God. Yes. You are the king of this universe. Hallelujah. Uh, tonight we declare there is no God like our God. Hallelujah. Our God is high and lifted up. Yes. Uh, but in spite of the fact you are lifted up tonight, you look down upon us. Uh, the Bible says, even as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. You remember our frame. You remember we are nothing but dust. But tonight, it is a joy to be a child of God. Uh, tonight, we know the enemy has a plan, but you've said in your word, greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. We were taught tonight by a woman servant that there will be storms, but we rejoice tonight because our God is able to calm and redirect any storm in our experience. Tonight, individuals have come here and uh, individuals are facing storms, but uh, tonight in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that somebody will be delivered from their storm situation. Even as the call was made tonight for baptism, there's somebody here who's wrestling tonight. There's somebody here, a woman who needs to make that decision for you. I pray, God, that you would set her free. There is a young man here, oh Father, even a child, oh God, who needs to go all the way with you in baptism. In the name of Jesus, we pray for those individuals, God. We pray that your Holy Spirit will prepare them. Even those who have made the decision to be baptized but are not here tonight, I pray, God, that wherever they are, that you would be with them, that they will be here tomorrow tomorrow night oh God that when the call is made again individuals will run to the altar and surrender to Jesus we thank you for the woman of God we thank you for the moving of your Holy Spirit and tonight someone who's going through the storm who came here feeling overwhelmed oh God that person will remove oh God that spirit of heaviness and that person will have praise unto God. We magnify you and we lift you up in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. And amen. Let God's people say amen. Amen. As you go back to your seats, I could tell you that there's one focus that will not fail. If you believe in God and is baptized, you shall be saved. That is one focus that will not fail. So God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Let's meet with the team members after. All the team members, Bible workers, ushers, please come to the front for a short meeting and I pray.